if i spawn near black bishop on reserve i'm gonna hit all three of them underneath if i spawn you know near the bunker and have the keys with me i'm gonna go under the bunker i'm gonna hit all of them under there they're just too good not to hit so uh our tiers here we have always hit so this is containers that you want to make sure that you're never missing uh you want to if you see one you want to make sure you're opening it if uh you're near the area of one you want to go out of your way to go get it always good it, the, these are just kind of like you know I, I always hit them if i'm near them but they're not necessarily something that you have to go out of your way for you have decent which is just kind of reliable. You're gonna make consistent money off of them, but they're not necessarily crazy at any point. Uh, hit or miss. These are the ones that you literally, when you hit them, you're, you either get something crazy or you get like almost nothing, right? And then finally we have never touch, which is pretty much only gonna be, I think two of the items on here, um, but we'll make sure uh, once we get there, but those are, pretty obviously the ones that you never touch so we'll start with the airdrops um i kind of debate between always good and decent here i don't think that these are always hit because a lot of times first off the amount of you, you you're always going to be contested when you're going for airdrops which is you know an issue um i i think that they're always good i i know that we say that it's like a trash airdrop but even like a trash airdrop is still a lot more uh, loot in one place than anything else in the game really so i would say they're always good i don't know that i would say that they're always hit just because of how contested they are um and you could put them down to decent if you feel like it but i would say they're always good i don't think that they're hit or miss i don't think they're just decent i think they're pretty much always good um ammo boxes these i'm gonna say are decent okay the reason i'm gonna go decent here is they have a lot of good ammos and then early on in a wipe or maybe on a new account these are a great way uh to get some new ammos that you haven't found before or like some good ammos so i definitely definitely think that you should hit them but you know once you get kind of later on down in the progression maybe they're not as good as as they were earlier on found a lead x in an airdrop yes i mean you can find some pretty high level stuff if you're looking for your stems and stuff in the airdrops also a good way to find those as well duffel bags i'm gonna say that duffel bags are i'm gonna say that duffel bags are decent um if you're if you're consistently farming them they're pretty good now if you're literally hitting one duffel bag a raid then they're gonna be hit or miss because you're you know a single duffel bag you're not gonna necessarily get something good out of but if you're farming duffel bags specifically they're almost always decent i get pretty consistent uh amounts of money out of them if i'm hitting just those or if i'm making sure that i'm hitting more than one in a raid but as an individual, they are hit or miss. So we'll, we'll leave them at hit or miss uh, for individual. But uh, if you're if you're hitting more than one, I would say they're decent here. Um, stashes. I personally think stashes are always hit. Uh, you can find slicks in these guys. You can find all kinds of armors, helmets, very high value items. And even when you're not getting those high value items, I really, really think that these guys are just consistently good you know i open one of these it's very rare that i find literally just a hat you know what i mean like I, I i found just a hat but it's it's rare because of how many i hit you know what i mean i wouldn't hit maybe just one of them but i would i would hit all of them all of them every time i'm walking by one i would hit it or i would have someone in my group hit it grenade boxes i think are decent i'm not gonna go always good um i like to do a lot of hatchet runs on reserve and so for me personally, I really like hitting these just because I can get an impact grenade, which is essentially like a free kill on a scav or on a PMC sometimes. Uh, so I'm going to go decent on these. I don't think that they're absolutely insane, but you can either get a grenade, you know, occasionally you're going to get the bad smoke or the stun grenade you don't want, but you're either getting a grenade or the items you need to craft grenades. So these are, these are as expected is the way that I would, that I would describe grenade boxes. It's about what you would expect to get out of them dead scavs i'm gonna say are decent um i hit everyone that i see because i found some pretty crazy stuff inside of dead scavs but that doesn't necessarily mean that they're always good like they're not i haven't always found good stuff in them they're not always consistently great sometimes i open them and they have pretty bad stuff um but i personally still think that they're worth hitting just because the value is still pretty good there let's see so our ground stashes 
These go up with our um, blue container stashes, whatever you want to call them. Um, I definitely think that they're really, really good. These are slightly better. So I'd say they're even better than this probably. Um, put it in that order just because they're larger so they can hold more items. Uh, you know, these ground stashes can spawn like MBSSs in them and stuff. And I know that that's not like anything crazy, but if you go in with nothing, you know, just the ability of getting a bag that large, even though it's a small to medium sized bag, it's pretty large to find just in a box, you know? Um, so we'll do that. Jackets. I'm going to say jackets are decent. Um, you're going to find, you know, two, two items that you can find in there are good. Any key, pretty much. And then you can find like GP coins and just about everything else is like, man, you know, so they're decent. Um, I, I, I'm going to move these down to hit or miss. They're not, I'm going to say they're, they're not as good as duffel bags. There's not as good as duffel bags. They're 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 more hit or miss, I think, than duffel bags, just because you're either gonna get something that's worth a considerable amount of money all at once, or you're just gonna find something that's reasonable uh, or 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 valueless. You know, I mean, you can find like uh, all of the cigarettes and stuff in there, uh, which just add to a bunch of issues that you have, um, in my opinion. Filing cabinets. This was actually the first video I made on YouTube of when I farmed a thousand filing cabinets and was kind of like what I really started with. I'm going to say that they're always good, especially now. Um, they just, one, they're never contested. You just don't ever have to fight somebody for a filing cabinet except for maybe day one of wipe. Um, if you're farming filing cabinets specifically, something like reserve is like got 60 something of them. So you've got that. You can put most of the stuff in there in a docs case. And when I formed the filing cabinets, they were insanely good and they've added more items into them now. So you've got like the secure magnetic tapes, the VHSs. Uh, I mean, there's intelligence spawns in them now and labs cards spawn in them now. And at the time it wasn't. So even then they were good. And now like they're crazy good. The only reason I'm not going to put these in always hit is because one, they're super annoying to, to loot. That kind of sucks. Um, they're really loud to loot, which kind of sucks. So that's the reason I'm not going to put them in always hit. And also like with filing cabinets, it's just one of those things where you're always going for quantity or right. Yeah. Quantity, because they're not always quality, like every single cabinet you hit, but if you're hitting lots of them, you're uh, They're always good to hit. If you're hitting lots of them, med bags and med cases, we're going to do these at the same time. Um, the med cases, I seem to be finding lead X's in them and morphines in them pretty consistently on shoreline. The med bags are okay. Um, I don't think that I find anything crazy in them, but they give me what I expect to get out of them. So I would say that they're decent. Now, in terms of like value, they may not be comparable to these other ones up here, but I still think that they're decent. Like when you open a med bag, what do you expect to get out of it? You expect to get medical supplies and you get medical supplies, you know? Um, I, I'm, if I'm opening a med bag, I'm either searching for a bandage, a splint or something like that. And I pretty much get those items. And then occasionally I'll get something nice like a morphine or an adrenaline. Um, the med cases, on the other hand, I have been hitting these like religiously, uh, this wipe mainly because I've found multiple lead X's in them on shoreline. So I'm hitting these religiously when I'm running, uh, shoreline, especially the next one we have is the medical supply crate. Um, these I would say are, are, are always good. Um, mainly here now we're going for value on these. The main reason is because they're never empty. If, if, if you open it and it's empty, it's because someone else looted it. These will never be empty. So you have guaranteed loot right here. They spawn Salua's, which is really nice. Morphine's, which is really nice. Lead X's, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they spawn a bunch of different great items they can spawn like quest items like alkali and stuff like that as well i think even gas analyzers can spawn in these now um so i would say that these are always good to hit um unless you just don't care about medical supplies at all but even then if you fill your bag with the stuff in this you're gonna make money on these runs if you're looking to get a med case these are great they're gonna give you the blood sets that you need and the uh syringes you need as well pc blocks so i have had pc blocks at hit or miss in the past um and i wouldn't have really encouraged somebody to hit them but the fact that the gpus are spawning 
so consistently in these it feels like i'm gonna move them not just up to decent but always good the main reason is i have found gpus multiple times in raids where i find two in one uh, two in pcs on that raid there's a particular route that i run on interchange um which i'll have linked uh either in the description or in a card above and these have been very very consistent on that particular route uh i can get out you know one to two raids doing that route and i've got a gpu if not two uh i do these on scavs and stuff like that and can get out with gpus all the time this is how i filled my bitcoin farm this wipe and then i've just been slowly removing them as i have to use those gpus for barters and stuff like that uh, but this is how i filled my bitcoin farm this wipe so i would definitely uh, be hitting computers every time i get a chance um these plastic suitcases these are really weird because i feel like they have like the exact same loot as duffel bags but i always seem to get something better than in duffel bags so i'm gonna put these up at decent and we'll put these right below dead scab actually we'll put these above dead scabs um i think that these are these are really really good to hit um i don't think that they're crazy i don't think that uh every time i walk by one i've got to hit it because it's not like i'm getting insane loot out of them uh, but when i hit one I, i'm pretty much never let down you know what i mean i'm pretty much never in a position where i'm like oh wow that was trash why did i even open that um so i'm gonna leave that one there i think that that one's a really good one uh to be hitting ration crates are s tier i think ration crates are probably the best item in the game to be hitting um the sugar condensed milk sacral tea um all these things the coffee the majaka coffee iskra lunch boxes mres aquamarines all these things spawn in these ration crates and although none of those things are like eye popping or anything like that they spawn in them really consistently and because you're talking sugar is 60k per slot you're talking you know sacral tea is like 17k to trader all of these things the alianka chocolate bars are like 30k per slot all these things are in here and you can get them really consistently it's rare that i open a ration crate and get literally only cigarettes um they do spawn the cigarettes and stuff like that there's definitely some stuff in there that's not as good of value but if i'm beside a ration crate i'm going to hit it every time if i spawn near black bishop on reserve i'm going to hit all three of them underneath if i spawn you know near the bunker and have the keys with me i'm gonna go under the bunker i'm gonna hit all of them under there um i think you should always be hitting ration crates they're just too good not to hit okay uh cash registers we're gonna do both of these at, at one time don't touch them i mean that i think the stacks of rubles can spawn anywhere from like 100 rubles to 2000 rubles so in this one it has this one here on the left has like uh i think two slots so max you can get 4,000 rubles. The one on the right has four slots. So max you can get 8,000 rubles. Uh, I, I mean, I just don't see it being worth touching these at all. Now, if they changed it maybe to where they spawn things other than rubles, like dollars and euros, then maybe these would be a lot more worth it to touch just so that you can actually maybe get some kind of reasonable amount. Because, you know, if you're talking about like filing cabinets can spawn like 40 to 80 euros and dollars and things like that, if you're getting those out of cash registers consistently this becomes a consistent method of farming dollars and euros and might actually be worth it but at the current state uh i just don't think cash registers are worth it you know when you get a goshan or an idea or an ollie register key i would just sell it i would take the the immediate income now are they going to pay themselves off eventually yeah probably but it it's just not worth it it's just not worth it in most cases safes these are in my opinion number two behind the ration crates um i don't think that they're as consistent as ration crates but they are still pretty reasonable uh, in terms of what you're getting i found bitcoins in these to swipe which were not available it seemed like uh during my farming of a thousand safes um i found I, I find tons of gp coins the amount of items that spawn in here has increased i'm finding bronze lines in them more consistently now uh i i just think safes are crazy good right now you got the axel parrot now uh you got the bikisi cookbook that spawns in there all of these things are really really good uh value per slot and they spawn reasonably consistent in them the t-fox the bases all that kind of stuff farming safes is a great way to make money as long as you can get around fighting the players that come with that the common fun stash this is the sturman stash i'm just gonna say decent here um i was gonna make a video on farming this like 100 times and i farmed it like 15 to 20 and it very quickly became apparent to me that 
it, it's not it's not that great i mean it's okay um but to be honest with you i can get the same amount of value uh out of the like three cabins that are nearby this and then the gray building i get almost the same amount of value out of those four buildings as getting this and this key is worth you know like 200k on the market a lot of times so i'm gonna say decent not great not personally just not my favorite um i i, I think it's a waste of money most of the time i get the key for the quest and then i kind of dip out and don't do anything with them from there next one is technical supply crates um i'm gonna put these above the pcs uh, we're gonna move these med cases back a little bit just in front of pcs i think um but the technical supply crates just underneath the medical supply crates um the only nice thing about these right now is they're spawning tank batteries more consistently uh if you're okay with carrying you know tons of weight out of the raid uh then these are actually pretty reasonable to get you can find a lot of good like barter items and stuff like there that in there but they're not always worth the value per slot that you want. Now that they've added the like pipe grip wrench and the ratchet and stuff like that, these have become a little bit more worth it. Um, but I still don't think that they're worth, met, worth worth more than the medical supply crates because the amount of times that I find those items spawning in there is less consistently than the good items that spawn in the medical supply crates. So still really good, still really good, still up there better than a lot of the other items here on the list. Um, but I don't know that I would hit them every single time that I walked by them toolboxes always good always good uh not better than pcs but always good um the fact that they, they just tools are worth a lot now uh i don't know what they did with the value that they were to trader maybe i missed out on that when i first started playing but tools are like crazy valuable and i don't remember them being that valuable when i first started playing um so toolboxes are great to hit there's pretty much not a tool that you can pull out of here that you're not going to be able to sell for a reasonable value per slot um most of the time, if I open a toolbox, I'm getting something good, okay? Uh, so I would say that they're always good. I wouldn't say always hit them because it's not like something you're going to be, like, amazed every time you open it, but always good. But definitely always good. These black boxes, I say always hit, personally. Um, I find weird, weirdly good stuff in these, like, very consistently. I find armored rigs in these black ones, like, all the time. In addition to that, like on labs and interchange, you have certain of these black boxes that always spawn Iskra lunch boxes. So there's, you know, even that is like a decent value per slot. If they're like 17 to 18K, which is still pretty reasonable. Um, and then you get any of the attachments that go along with it. They're your go-to for Iskras. Yeah, they're, I mean, this is, if I'm struggling to find Iskras, I'm gonna do a scab and I'm gonna go to interchange and check these boxes. Um, or, I, or I'll take a PMC if I have to with low gear or whatever. These are definitely um, a great way to find. I mean, I find I find more armored rigs in them than I find weapons, uh, but they're still really, really good to check. These two by I think these are two by six weapon boxes. Uh, I'm gonna say these are decent. Um, I don't find as many weapons or as many ammos or good attachments in these as I would think that I would. Um, and we'll talk a little bit more about why I'm going to put this at B uh, at the end when I get to the green wooden box. But these just don't perform for me as well as I would think that they do. Maybe I'm just really unlucky, but I don't seem to get things out of these as much as I should. Um, these green pelican boxes will put up at always good. Um, we'll move them up here. Uh, I think that they're, they're pretty consistent, um, but... Sometimes I have a, a, a you know only a couple of items out of them, which kind of irritates me because of how large the box is. But they're also the box that I probably find like two weapons in at a time more often than not. Uh, the box that I find armored rigs in, slightly less than the black weapon boxes, but still pretty pretty reasonable. Um, the six by threes, I'm actually going to put these above the weapon, the green pelican weapon crates. Uh, I think that. These six by threes are probably the best ones other than the, the black four by fours. Uh, I find, again, armored rigs, weapons all the time in these, much more consistently than all the other weapon boxes except for the black four by four. Now the black four by four doesn't have as much space as this one, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But the thing about the black four by four is that I, although I can't get as much in them, I seem to get stuff in them more consistently. When I open the six by threes, I get a lot of stuff in them, like more like more often than the others, because it just has the space for it. 
but I just don't get it as consistently as I get stuff in the black. I open the six by threes and get less items or, or nothing reasonable more often than the black four by fours, which is why they are where they are and not up there at always hit. The green wooden boxes. These, in my opinion, other than the black four by fours are the best weapon boxes on this list. I find weapons in these all the time. I mean, AKs, I found M4s, pistols, helmets, I find equipment out of these super consistently. In addition to that though, these spawn ammo like the ammo boxes do very consistently. I find high level ammunition in these all the time on reserve and can take a hatchet run where I have almost nothing where I'm packing my mag with, with some pretty ridiculous ammo and all of a sudden I can take down a player uh, as long as I have just a little bit of advantage just because my ammo is so good. So these green wooden boxes are probably uh, my personal favorite wooden boxes um, just because of how consistently they spawn equipment and ammo. Uh, let's go back over and just see if there's anything that I would switch up to maybe always hit or down the decent. Maybe move these here behind the, the supply crates or whatever just because those are pretty good. Um... I think this is pretty, pretty, pretty much where we're, where we're going to sit at.